It was also here that many of the United Irishmen were court-martialed. And um, further back, uh, we have Arbor Hill, where many of the leaders were uh, uh, tortured and, and hung, including Matthew Tone um, and Bartholomew Teeling, both uh, leaders down in, at the uh, Battle of Balnamuck. Uh, Matthew Tone was obviously a brother of Wolf Tones. Now, uh, our first singer today in Collins Barracks is um, Robert Kelly, and I'm going to ask Robert to introduce his own song. Come on, Robert. <laughs> well, this song is from nearly the uh, end of the 1798 revolution. It's about the French landing in Kalala, and actually, Tone and Healing is mentioned in it. Uh, uh, but, um, it's found in Terry's book, but there's another version, or another verse I have of it that's not in the book, so I'll give you what I have. <laughs> On an angry August morning, sailing down Killala Bay, came the Frenchmen and their general too late to save the day. My Nora waved them welcome, but I still nurse my wounds. Cruel marks from Tobarnirin and all my dreams in ruins. Ah, ye Frenchmen, ah, ye Frenchmen, ye've come too late again. Save the flower of freedom, been crossed in every glen. And your fancy, General Humbert, well intended though he be, will never bring the rights of man from the land of liberty. At Kilcommon Strand they landed and brought themselves ashore. The Frenchmen and their finery, a joy to behold. And the local people embraced them, they were sure their hour was at hand. After six hundred years of bondage, but they'll die for their land. Ah, ye Frenchmen, ah, ye Frenchmen, ye've come too late again to save the flower of freedom been crushed in every glen. And your fancy, General Humbert, well intended though he be, will never reap the harvest that was promised to the free. At Castle Bar he chased them like foxes o'er the hounds. Lord Roden's famous cavalry, he ran across the ground. Seven hundred fiery Frenchmen, may all rebels to cannon guns. But I thought of Father Murphy, lying dead with Wexford sons. Ah, ye Frenchmen, ah, ye Frenchmen, ye've come too late again to save the flower of free been crossed in every glen and your fancy general Humbert well intended though he be will never bring the rights of man from the land of liberty then early in September I saw it all again, Cornwallis and his thousands 
Drove Humber down the glen, and the beaten French returned to France. May all rebels butchered and slain, with tone and tealing martyred, the banshees cries again. Ah, ye Frenchmen, ah, ye Frenchmen, ye've come too late again to save the flower of freedom been crossed in every glen and your fancy general humbert well intended though he be will never bring the rights of man from the land of liberty will never reap the harvest that was promised to That was Robert Kelly. Thank you very much, Robert. Um, now